Primary malignant neoplasms of the peritoneum are rare, as most malignant neoplasms are metastases originating from carcinomas of the GI tract, especially the stomach, colon, and pancreas, or the genitourinary tract, particularly epithelial ovarian tumors. When the metastatic cancer deposits diffusely coat the visceral and parietal peritoneum, these peritoneal metastases are referred to as carcinomatosis. Pseudomyxoma peritonei, or PMP, is characterized by accumulation of intraperitoneal mucinous ascites, commonly from a ruptured ovarian or appendiceal neoplasm. A mucinous lesion would grow and occlude the appendiceal lumen, the appendix ruptures, and the peritoneum is seeded with mucus-producing cells which continue to proliferate. PMP represents a spectrum of disease and can be thought of as two distinct groups. The first is diffuse peritoneal adenomucinosis, characterized by intraperitoneal acellular mucin without tumor cells from a ruptured low-grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm, formerly known as a cystadenoma, or ruptured appendiceal mucosal. This carries a more indolent course and a better prognosis than peritoneal mucinous carcinomatosis, characterized by peritoneal mucinous deposits with tumor cells from an underlying malignancy, such as appendiceal adenocarcinoma with mucinous histology. Patients are often asymptomatic until late in the course of their disease and will often describe a global deterioration in their health long before a diagnosis is made. Symptoms of abdominal pain and distension are common, and physical exam may reveal new hernia, ascites, and occasionally a palpable abdominal mass. PMP has a classic appearance on CT as intra-abdominal mucin causes scalping of the liver, spleen edges, and mesentery and can have intermittent calcifications. In more aggressive cases, segmental obstruction of the small bowel is also seen. The current treatment of patients with pseudomyxoma peritoneae involves resection of as much of the tumor as possible with intensive cure or cytoreduction and hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy or HIPEC. Operative management includes omentectomy, stripping of involved peritoneum, resection of involved organs, and appendectomy if not previously performed. There should be no residual tumor nodules larger than 2 mm in diameter after resection to facilitate penetration of the chemotherapy into any residual disease.